Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to do another guide, a startup. Uh, today, we're doing one of the most important ones, and that's France. I haven't done it yet because I've always thought that they are going to get patches, and they have, but not what I wanted. But in 1.3, they are getting the patch uh, that are making this guide irrelevant. Kinda, not really. Uh, that's why I decided to, to make it because I thought that the patch would make it irrelevant, but it doesn't. It only kinda. Uh, what they've done is they change. They're changing how the fort system works, and that makes it so. And yeah, you get you, you're not going to go down the tree here. It takes too long, and they're making. That's why you're probably going to. There's a couple things I would recommend this uh, in this situation, but it's okay. Let's talk about it. For as France, you need to build forts. You already have forts on this border here. What I usually do is build forts here and here, but after the patch and uh, here as well. But after the patch, you can't really do that. I, I mean, like level seven forts, because that's uh, usually that's tournament standard. You can only build level s level seven forts max. That's usually tournament rules, because after seven, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, which one of these are you supposed to pick? Probably I usually do this one because I can just add four here and two here and that's easier than moving these here. Yeah that's I can do that for yeah, let's just do this one because I usually do it. I'm not sure if this is actually better, but you want to end up with uh, six here, light tanks and four motorized. You can do that however you want, but this is the way I do it. And I like this name more than uh, this name. Uh, yeah, that's it for training. Here, standard, doing this. But France is probably the most important one, and I've wanted to do this since the beginning, but not because I thought, think, I've always thought, as I said, it's going to get patched, because this is just, uh, you have to do it like this. As France, you can't really do anything but uh, build civilians in the early game. You don't actually have any really of these. What you do is you build naval dockyards and the civilian, and then you start building <coughs> uh, military factories and land forts and infrastructure. You want to max out infrastructure on all of all of the eastern here and this one here. Uh, and yeah, I'll come to that later. Uh, exactly which one you should max. But yeah, because this is kind of funny. I like this kind of stuff. You want to half, took half. Oh shit! And do like this. You can do it super easy. I just, I just messed that up. But yeah, one, put one on Germany. Put one on Italy. Doesn't matter which one really. Uh, most skillful. These are the same, but I usually pick him on it Italy, and him on Germany just because I always I recommend vi I, um, this f face reminds me of Germany and yeah because I've used it so much not really that face looks German or stuff yeah let's do this and you do add these so you get them um, like that and you are irrelevant over there and here we do no we don't have any divisions here do we have any divisions here no you want to issue a diplomatic because otherwise you, you go to war and you start a civil war and you don't want that. Now we want to pick the status quo. Uh, yeah, and these 17 guys want to, are going to be on this border, and we're going to have him as commander, like that. Uh, so yeah, that's the start up. I f yeah, yeah, and here in Vietnam we're going to do these. Supposed to be free, yeah. Uh, no commander, really. No, no commander. Just put them on. Let's put them on this border for now. Switch this guy out for a normal one. And we're actually we're rushing down here because we really want to get this one. We want the research because we. Uh, because we need to catch up on this stuff later on. On this, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I am sure what you're supposed to pick. I'm going to tell you that later. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to 
get to do everything this episode so I'm actually just going to in that case tell you the what to do you need to relocate ev all of your fleet to southern France because they're going to be used to destroy Italy's fleet so you want to gather them up here in the future also wanting to max out this oh shit it is maxed nice uh, yeah that's one you don't want the communist support uh, so rather just do this you can take it it really doesn't matter uh, let them strike 15% national unity you see you get pretty low as France and I love it it's super super cool now uh, you do this you do this you do that and you rename them to uh, the great fleet and you go go with Britain uh, this is all just uh, why you're doing this you may ask and uh, you know, it's pretty simple you need to get to this one as quick as possible because that one lasts for a year and when that year is over uh, you're supposed to get to take the next one and that's this one and that gets rid of a disjointed government so that's good and other stuff yeah this gains national unity you go join allies oh now I can pick one okay and you're going to get early mobilization for free as France and that's cool you want military theories but not now you probably want captain of industry because we're going to build these for a little while and then we're going to start building this okay that's nothing i just thinking i want this and then you're going to want to max this one max this one and you're going to want to build land forts not for now so the plan is go here go here and then we're going defensive focus and we're going to want to pick this one we also want to, to pick up all of these three and after that we're going to pick up the last two here just and after that you can go this one into this one here and armor reform after and after you pick armor reform you start rushing down as quick as you can the land doctrines uh, so what did i just finish here so yeah so this is that's the simple way of opening as France. But I'm going to show you because there's some you need. You're going to make choices in the tree and now I mean events, events. You're going to make some event choices and that's cool. And yeah, so that what well, this is usually how you as allies set up. Use in multiplayer. You say yeah, you, okay. You take care of this here. I take care of France. Takes care of this. Now we're in allies. Now we pick strength in government. Yeah. And uh, but what usually hap what you after that do is you if because you have allies you communicate and say UK you hold Italy, I France hold Belgium. See now the factory strikes are out, and they hold this whole line. The, ma the magnet line is here, but I also hold the extended line, and uh, then you like say some then you some the rest. And then you have to like both take care of this, something like that, because Spain is going to go into civil war, and yeah, it's going to be kind of. We're going to do it in like. I'm not sure actually. Is it in September? Not not really sure. Yeah, here strikes are over. It's it's very good that the strikes are over because you really really need to. You don't have that many factories, so you need. Excuse me, you need to start them. They need to be on max output uh, all the time. That's why you pick the 90 days. Because if you, yeah, I've seen some people pick the 365 days, even though you're going uh, democratic. And that's because they say 30% for one year is better than 90% less for 90 days. But I think no, that's. I think that's wrong. And let's do. Oh, I have this on. Let's see. So yeah. Oh, these guys. That's why I have this guy. They're going to extend this down here, and I'm not going to click here. So yeah, for now we're just entrenching, and probably could 
you could uh, there's one way to do it to do a fallback line through all here and that's fine you can do that if you rather want to but it lately is you just your front line and on Spain you can do, do a front line uh, now it's defensive focus and another thing is now you see I am go you can I can't do this now you need to wait one year so I'm doing I'm preparing by going down for this one I've seen some people actually before go you do this one and then they go down and pick these two and these two for because you get so many civilian factories you get four here and four here wait two three four they get five here and four here seems like for 23rd October maybe it's different all the time every time well well, what I was saying, because you need the fa you get so many factories from that. That's nine factories, and that's cool. But you need to start with this one early, and that's why, as France, it's you're playing different. You can't go for the industry early, and after you, one of the ways you go down here, and now you go take these four, and then you take this one, and then you take this one, and then you go right down here and take these last. But then you don't pick up the construction speed for land and coastal forts. And you don't get the extended magline stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's why I usually go this way. You can do uh, variants, of course. And uh, I really think the Navy focus in for France and Air Forces are too weak. We should absolutely buff them. Because these, these, you never, never touch them. They're so, so bad. You don't need that now. You need this and you need this. Yeah. That's just what I think. That here you should get naval dockyards, and here you should get more air experience. You should get 100 or so, because that that would make, because uh, 100 air experiences and uh, 90 is uh, actually enough for doing for I think. Yeah, free. You can do free upgrades to a plane, and that's super good. So that means like you can as France go the first you this one and this one and the third one you pick this one and when that's done the plane you have done this first one only the first one and you get can upgrade free free engine and that's super super good I want a levy and mass because uh, you get get 10% less cost for infantry equipment and that's super good because that means you just can modif modif no yeah you get five army experience so that you can modify by 10% wait what did it say 10% no not 10% yeah 10% cheaper yeah that's good so you get more that means you get more infantry equipment you get more you can build more soldiers yeah you know the deal <sighs> so now that's done we're going to destroyers and battleships you only you know you don't actually need that many on the destroyer, you need free because uh, free is enough to build quick. That's super cool. But they're so cheap. Um, oh, we want a plane to to build destroyers. One doctor is 1.5, one every 1.5 years, and all of these factories together is 1.5 years. Yeah, you see. <sighs> so that's nice, I suppose. We probably. And one of all everything, you don't switch these out for normal because you don't. They actually don't e even uh, they have, but they actually don't have any organization in the desert. So it doesn't matter which division it is. Now you want to pick defense here. Ten percent defense is good for fifty. just no one focus fate fortification focus because the ground battery doesn't matter I really really want them to remake ground battery because it's a one time for support artillery one and um, that's like they are already so cheap so what we want you to do is go the kinda what it seems like is they want you to pick this one so you can get this one before 1939 but you can do it anyway because it takes 300 days so that's like just like 
picking one of these or so. Not really, but kinda. So it's quite, quite stupid, I think. That, or it should be two times support artillery and ten arm experience. Because it's it's like the ground battery it's in real life that was like they set up five cannons. Uh, five cannons here and five cannons here and five cannons, yeah. Like that. And, and in the game it's... Oh god, it's so weird. Or it should be like... Uh, your artillery pieces do 10% more damage or so. But uh, things you want to do is when you get armor reform, you want to rush down the superior firepower. And that's because I was gonna talk about this earlier, but I just remember now you don't need 5% as France, you have unlimited manpower. Uh, you have more manpower than Germany, I think. Not really sure. But the thing is, you have unlimited manpower. No, you don't have more than Germany, but yeah. You just move up one step all the time and you have enough, I'm sure. You will not... Uh, I'm sure you won't... Uh. Now it's a question, I really want to pick up these two before. So yeah, I'm probably going to go these into this. Yeah. yeah I want to go these two, but I can't. Because of timing. When this goes up to 40, I think it's the time uh, I can take this one. something like that and yes yeah, suspected national league Spain is winning so uh, time oh yeah we've done that stuff we have to build some of these of course but you really don't have that much time for it so and then after that I'm going to build more of these now it's time for not really not time for that. Done that. What? What's it? Need better battery ships. And this one. We need to. You always need to do that before you do grand battery. Because if you don't, you can't get the 50% bonus for the right thing. You want 50 for this. Hm. Yeah. I think that's the plan at least. And other stuff. Just leave Vietnam to die or so. <laughs> Just one thing I thought, think, thought about now. Just it doesn't really matter if you have that colony. Let's see. You you get you miss out. Oh, you miss miss out on rubber and this stuff. Tungsten. But yeah, you can't really do anything about it. You can't fortify it or so. You don't have resources for it for now. And if Japan goes down that way that way demand it I f here I heard demand French Indonesia I'm not sure what you're supposed to pick there because I've asked France never had that in single player at least in multiplayer I probably just said no because I'm already at war with them but yeah in single player I'm not sure how it works out so let's do that and let's just check this. Check here. Afrique de Lust. That means that's French for. Yeah. No, oh, what? Okay. You're irrelevant here. Go here. I thought that was French for East African East Fleet, but probably that's West maybe. And let's pick this one here. And let's that's done. So now we can do this, and now we can start building this one. Airplanes are so so expensive. One is oh just one airplane co is takes like what two three weeks if you only have one factory. So you need to have at least three, I think, for it to be worth even building them. And the yeah, light tank and stuff. And you need so much. As France, you what you usually happens in multiplayer is UK gifts France uh, equipment every month, uh, and what we usually gift is infantry equipment and tanks, because other stuff we can usually handle. Artillery, they don't get gifted so often because UK is also behind in it. Because so yeah, one tip is if you're any nation and 
you have spare factories, just build RT. Everything else you can just get from other players. But RT is almost always for all players behind. Everyone is behind an RT. And if you're like plus uh, plus 10k in RT, keep building because you will need it someday. And here in divisions we can add recon. And we're producing that. We should probably do this, this, this. Yeah. Okay, it's time. <coughs> when it's ni late 1937, early 1938, start building your level 3. You should build, I recommend. Uh, forts on Italy border. Like that, because uh, you're getting level two from this one. No, from here, and that means you don't. Uh, you're taking that now. You don't. Uh, you need to build. This makes it so it's level five, link like, uh, in the border. Uh, yeah, it's level five here, and level five you want to get to level seven, but that's not important until 1939, when the war is going to break out somewhere. That time. Because you need to get level 5 here as well, before you even think about getting 7 here. And you need level 1 at least here. At least level 1 here. Now after, now we're done here, now we're going to pick this one into this one. When this is done. Now we get here. We improved artillery. Improved artillery is super super important. Because, uh, check here. Defense 15, breakthrough 7, defense 10, breakthrough 6. So it's 5 more defense and 1 more breakthrough, yeah. And soft attack 30, soft attack 40, you see. Hard attack is the same. Piercing 5, piercing same. Oh. Reliability same, production cost. It's a bit more expensive, yes. But the defense is the main thing. Um, as, like, I would say as... Uh, any other n as attacking nations it's not important getting this one you do it anyway just uh, because you n uh, just for soft attack in that case but the defense is so so important every nation that's planning on defending uh, even if UK France Poland Soviet China yeah those nations you have to have to get uh, improved artillery and now we they won here so that means we need to send troops here I usually there's ways to do it. You can now you need to do this one, do and you do like this. So this means when these are done uh, with this one, they just move down to this one. That's how it works. And we need to get uh, left side is yeah left side. We need to get uh, down. Need to get here. Floating fortress is so so good so you need to get this side the other side is not important so now we get that now I'm just going to check yep I didn't miss any spots but what I usually do is so I didn't miss anything so they, I, they can just break through and the whole thing is a uh, waste of time because if you miss one spot here they can just break through on that spot and you're done and now you see I have level 10 here, and that's good. Now we're going to pick these up these two after we've done this one and this one. Because after that I want I really want this video is going to be longer than the other ones because it's the most important of them. Because uh, you need the infrastructure is so important in in Germany, France, and Soviet. Maybe Japan. You need to have level 10 here. But yeah. They have some specific spots where it has to be level 10. Just has to. And those spots are here, here. And I'm going to show you the rest after these are done. Because I'm not sure exactly which spots these are. It says here where, where they're adding. But I want to be 100% sure I'm not building over them. If you understand that. Because that's a waste of time. But I'm sure, I'm quite sure they actually don't do the plus 3 on these two. I think it's stuff around this region so yeah extend the magnet line 
I don't. I'm not sure why Luxembourg doesn't get mad. I mean, I'm. Oh, I'm not building it. I'm, I'm. This is so stupid. Why aren't you getting level two for some this tile here? You. I, wait. What? Um. My bad. I mean, I'm not. I don't think. Yeah. You, you have to get here. I was thinking this spot here didn't wasn't boarding here, but yeah. My bad. Arm reform. Uh. Switching. We want want to get to support two. Need support two because support two like, lets you get so so good defense. Yeah, you see here all those. If only two, the only important here are the first two: infantry defense and infantry breakthrough. Uh, Germany always has this maybe even this when the war breaks out and you need to have be on par with germany on support weapons here it's not important the only there's nothing here that's it's important it's leg infantry soft attack maybe but no it's not important but the important thing is this one with weapons 2 weapons 2 is so much better than weapons 1 it's so much better defense breakthroughs better soft attacks better hard attacks better yes hard attacks better Better piercing shit. Same reliability, bit more cost. But yeah, better, super better. The important thing is uh, defense and breakthrough. Uh, soft attack and soft attack. Yeah, soft attack is also important. Hard attack, not important. And uh, piercing, not important. For infantry, at least, weapons. Because hard attack and stuff, you, you use other stuff for hard attack, not infantry. So yeah. And you say I'm building dockyards, so and you can say that's waste because UK that's UK 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 can do that. Yeah, of course they can. Uh, but the thing is, they can't have control over all the importances alone. As France, your job is to, with some uh, like a third or so of UK's fleet, team up on Italy's fleet. And you need to destroy Italy's fleet so you can have control over this one here and this one here. So, and UK's job is to have control over English Channel and Bay of Bish, uh, yeah, these four here. And you have to team help. You can't do that alone. Uh, UK can't do that alone. Loan. And US comes in too late. But and if but if US manage to come in uh, 94 now, yeah, you don't actually have to build your fleet. But it's uh, very rules and stuff that they can't. And yeah, yeah. We want partial. Because why not? Partial is good. There are ways of opening like you're going, you're going communist, you're going the allies, but you're communist and those stuff are banned in multiplayer because it's bit. It's not. I don't think it's too good, but they want it to be historical. And I think that's good. I like it. Some stuff here you can do. But I forgot. You go here. You take these. No. Here. Take these two. Send them over here. Take these tanks. Send them over here. Oh. Another thing I forgot. Switch out the garrison. You should do that early. Earlier. My bad. And uh, yeah, you can say, yeah, you're going down that. You should get this one. Yeah, why not? If you want to. T <laughs> but you're missing out on so much. Just, it's free text. And for your friends, you don't have time for that. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, you can say, yeah. two And two times for naval doctrine. They're, they're so cheap anyway. Oh shit, and I'm done with that. So I have, I'm, I'm going to rush down here now. And this gets you two for land doctor. I thought we got you got three. <laughs> and yeah, the forts are done. So let's get one, two, three. No. That seems to be wrong. Here. And when these forts are done, we're going to best. I think that's time for in uh, infrastructure then. And so you need to get some of these, though. Yeah. You're going to get from these two, yeah, but. 
that's very far into the future. Shit. Yeah, more important. Why it didn't do anything, which whoever I took, so I'm not sure. I thought it would do something if I picked different, but yeah, seems like no. Now it's just quite chill, this part, because yeah, it's not much left to do. I just, I'm not, I'm just, I'm going to end the episode, because now what you do is you rush down for this. Uh, you, no, you, d you actually don't rush, you take this into this and this into this, but I'm going to do this into this, because I want to see where the infrastructure is. But yeah, what you're going to do is this into this into this into this into... Two, three, four. Into this one, into research slot, into factory, into whatever you want. Probably... Pull and declare, okay. Probably into something, no should probably just rush down nuclear for it in the second. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I should do that. Into, uh, rush into this. You miss out on a sneaky, sneaky strategy where you can uh, get nuclears early, nukes early. But you have to, as France, because you need the second resource slot to catch up. Not catch up, but... Uh, oh, so stupid borders. <laughs> yeah, we should uh, puppet them. Why didn't they pop it then? Would be much better. Poland, you make me sad. Why are these? Why are the troops on the move? Is this the expeditionary forces? <laughs> it's not war yet, guys. I'm wondering where we're sending them. They seem to be putting their troops on borders. Why well, on Saudi Arabia? <laughs> what have they done you? Look how happy he is and you're putting troops on his border. See now I'm doing mistakes but that's... I'm wanting to do them. If, yeah, I've told you. God, the bot is so bad. <laughs> for England. You see, they have done... Yeah, they have done this stuff. Fortify. Why not course Spain? And why have they course Turkey? Why have they done the Balkan strategy and this stuff? Why haven't they gone down naval rear and them into this? Oh god. Okay, here. Look power, change the communist. Okay. Yeah. That's worth it. It's worth it to ban communist. I was just thinking, is it actually worth it to ban communist? Because it's and the only reason it, it would not be is because it it makes gives t takes twenty political power. But yeah, it's worth it. Because then you're sure you cannot be. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not actually sure. Maybe it doesn't matter. I'm not sure. <sighs> now it's... Now we want... Probably want this. We have... How do I get manpower? I haven't done anything to get 100k manpower. Just got it. Wait, what? How do I get 100k manpower? I get 1.5k every month. That's good. Two and twenty-four, just in Paris. Yeah, doing, getting all that stuff. Yeah, I got some more. And after this one, we're going to check out the infrastructure. So, okay. And I'm going to end it. Yeah, it's been a very long video.
I'm sorry, because you probably haven't watched the whole video, because, yeah, 35 minutes is quite a lot of time. But yeah, if you have, that's cool. Leave a check to your fate, of course, you need to leave a check for your fate. You really don't want to get to war with Germany ever, so you want to stall it. Okay, infrastructure. Ugh. I've done both. You want to have this one, this one, and you want to max out this one. You want to max out this, this, and this, and this. And probably like this. And let's see, check F4. For now it's green. But if we add more, if more troops... We're going to have to do it like this. If you don't understand this page, it's okay. Just do what I did here. Maybe this is overkill. Maybe this one is... I can do this and this instead of these two. Uh, how it works is you s you're sending in you're sending around the equipment and you need good uh, infrastructure to send it quicker and better and to move troops but yeah that's it for the video if you enjoyed the video leave a like down below tell me in the comments what you want to see next and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye